Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Please put a like and subscribe if you are new. Also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where you can get daily collective reading. My readings always start on the 30 minute mark. You can come in earlier if you wanna wait, chat with everyone, but they always start at the 30 minute mark, so just pop in at the 30 minute mark. The reading will begin. All right, let's get into your reading. Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. Oh my gosh, it's almost Christmas. You know what? <laughs> We're already getting through november here we go here we go already getting through november uh so we're going to take a look at the week messages going forward november 5th ugh, all the way through um my goodness the 12th november 5th through the 12th yes yes is that good let's get started so you're starting with oh not today not dealing hurt Avoiding a conversation, a call, a person, boundaries, still feeling angry. Okay, Virgo, what's going on? And what else do you have? Uh, oh, you've got soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Your soulmate's trying to call you Virgo, but looks like you're not trying to talk. Maybe. Let's see. You also have, oh, the chaser. Let me get my big old clunky glasses out of the way. You've got the chaser. Chaser and codependent relationship, fear, abandonment issue. So... Okay, point blank, a period. You've got someone here who views you as a soulmate. And um, this person is chasing you down this week, for sure. Now, you may not view them as a soulmate. Um, they could be a Libra. Um, it looks like this person is... They don't have to be a Libra, but they could be. It looks like this person is chasing after you this week. And um, they have a fear that you are gone... They don't want to lose you. So I feel like they have a contract, this whole contract with you. Maybe you do with them. Maybe you, I don't know, there's something going on here. They might not be wanting to talk with another person or other people as well. They could be hanging up on other people. Uh, they might be hanging up on others. But listen, overall, the message here is I feel like you've got somebody and, and yes, I don't feel like it's you hanging up on someone. I feel like whoever your soulmate is, either you consider them a soulmate or they consider you, whatever the story is, this person is chasing after you, okay? And um, they are not talking. They don't want to talk to whoever is bothering them, okay, this week, right? Because they're focused on you this week. Yes. Yes. So let's get a little bit into that and see what's going on with that. Oh immediately we have a card that flipped immediately like i just like i didn't even have to shuffle okay king cups ace of wands devil okay <laughs> okay straight off straight off the bat so it could be a capricorn cancer scorpio pisces this person hooked on you okay hooked on you and that devil card this person is a little codependent they got the this person has a thing for you. I'm just going to say what, you know, the big wand right there. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm saying this person is 100%. They got a thing for you. Okay. So not letting you go. Chasing after you. Not letting you go. Hasn't let you go. Isn't letting you go. Whatever the story might be. Um, really, I need some yellow light right here. Is just not like it's, I'm hearing it's not it's not done you are their soulmate you are them sometimes a king of cups can represent the libra card for me in some in some situations in some decks in some in some um astrology communities it can so if you have a connection with the libra very well it could be okay so pretty much i feel like this is the story going forward i feel like this person is there's something new starting this week with this person okay um <clears throat> yeah and they're gonna be chasing after you this week now some of you might not want to won't be wanting to talk to this person you might be hurt you might have boundaries up you might feel like there isn't a conversation that's going to be had between you and this person for any particular reason i'm not really sure if that's your situation you might not want to be talking to them um anything could be going on I will say that, but I do see this person coming after you this week, okay? So there will be some phone calls or text messages. Um, 
something along those lines maybe even email i don't know who does email but there might be something you might receive something from them what else is going on what else does virgo need to know this week going forward okay so you've got the moon pisces energy here some secrets being revealed very little though very little not big giant reveal some feelings coming out let's see what else what else does virgo need to know hmm i'm hearing been waiting to hear from you i'm hearing i've been waiting to hear i've been waiting for you i've been waiting you know i'm gonna start singing the hanged man pisces energy that's double pisces there so we're getting some water water going on here um this is waiting trying to see the best trying to make the best of a bad situation let me see somebody i just heard i just heard um is that a song lyric or the name of a song it's called born under a bad sign has anybody heard of that before that's really old i don't know if that's a group or lyrics to a song or the name of a song born under a bad sign mm. sorry taking a sip of my duncan coffee here i got an extra large lord knows i'm gonna need it yeah born under a bad sign i just heard so i don't know what that means okay now leo's showing up here so we've got some pretty serious major arcana okay strength courage waiting for the right time i'm hearing somebody's waiting for the right time to start something new here with you have like some new growth there's definitely like physical intimacy and attraction for sure you've got here from somebody that could be a leo pisces cancer scorpio capricorn i did pick up libra energy somebody here is feeling a strong soulmate connection wanting to connect with you tell me about this devil what's going on with this devil energy because that feels like pure sexual energy there somebody is like definitely there's like a little bit of a physical obsession a little bit of a physical obsession here tell me tell virgo Tell Virgo about this devil energy. What's going on here? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Eight of Cups. Wow. Might have been like um So there was this like temporary separation. Like you I don't know if you and this person were kind of like, hmm maybe like a little time out no, no physical intimacy between you and this person okay so so listen listen this this person still has this thing like you still turn them on that's like what i'm gonna say and um, there's this person feels like a soulmate connection in that area for sure you know, like your soul turns them on and i don't know if you're if if their soul turns you on but there there's definitely like there's an attraction soul to soul attraction kind of thing and i feel like i feel like they're so focused on you they're ignoring other people they might have others chasing after them also but they're it's kind of like they're giving me like she wants him but he wants her or or um he wants her but but she wants him that kind of energy yeah you know everybody's chasing everybody else you know what i mean and i don't know what you're doing you're probably just like trying to take the garbage out or clean your light bulbs or something for going what you're doing but yeah there's this kind of <laughs> this kind of energy is happening this week so because the eight of cups gives me that like temporary separation i feel like you guys like this person's definitely coming around so if you're not talking to the let me see what's going on with you because are you not going to answer the phone like what are you doing like what's going on are you going to talk to this person are you not going to talk to this person what's going on with virgo do you want to talk to does virgo want to talk to this person what is what is the deal with virgo 
Huh. No, it looks like you're cool. You're like mild. You're like, um, I don't know. You're not like, you're just mild. You're like, yeah, sure. What's up? How's it going? You'll accept an apology. I'm hearing too. So maybe you're angry about something. Um, you might want an apology first from someone. If you don't need that, you might just be like, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, oh, hey, how you doing? Um, it, so I guess you're not angry. It, maybe you're not. Or you might be like all forgiven, that kind of thing. Like it's past, whatever. Because the Page of Cups is like very simple. It's just kind of like, oh, hey, how's it going? Like there's no, Page of Cups is, doesn't get angry. Page of Cups is kind of like just like a kid, you know? Like children don't hold grudges. You know what I mean? Like children are just, they don't understand that. <laughs> They're little. Kids just, they get mad for a minute and they have a temper tantrum, but like they don't hold grudges. So that's kind of the energy I feel here when I'm asking about you. Like, you're just like, you know how kids, like, they get angry and they cry and then they sit and they sulk. They have, like, a temper tantrum and then, you know, they, they, they get what they want and they don't get what they want and then they're on to the next thing. I kind of feel like that's you. You don't seem like you're, you're just like, it's whatever. Yeah, so. I hope you're not, like, a grudge holder. Because, I mean, I always feel like holding on to, like, grudges, is, that's more poisonous for you than it is for others, right? So let me see. I don't know. I just feel like, does this, does this person have feelings for Virgo? Okay. There's a page of, page of wands. Okay. Two of cups, yeah. I mean, this person definitely loves you. That's my soulmate card. So there's definitely, I mean, there's mutual and they hope you love them. I mean, there's mutual feelings here for sure. You know, they see like, they see themselves in you. There's, there's definitely like, they, they see that there's a connection for sure. Definitely. Like they feel like they've met their match with you and a page of wands. I mean, they have a crush, like for sure. You know, they, like they're smitten with you. Definitely. <clears throat> yeah yeah virgo yeah they definitely have a thing for you here so i mean this could be somebody like you're just dating you know i mean if you're like i don't know if you're why would you be mad at them like what what might have happened if, if virgo if something happened with virgo and this person what what happened that would cause virgo to not like, why would Virgo have not wanted to talk to this person? Okay, so the chariot. Hmm. Oh. Well, for some, this person wanted to, like, settle down, and Virgo didn't want to. They were moving too fast. Or, or they made all these promises, and they didn't follow through with them. That could have been it. It was one or the other. Okay. And something might have fallen apart. They might have had like a lot of ideas, but didn't like turn it into, you know, action. They couldn't like manifest these things. They just talked a lot. That's what the Page of Pentacles. You know, there's a lot of pages here. So I feel like this relationship might have been um, a tad bit like, um, like some image. It was immature, you know, like it, there wasn't a lot of growth, perhaps. There was a, maybe a lot of talk about like you know a lot of talk and no action you know that that could have been a reason why um there might have been like that not today card where there was like nah don't want to talk anymore nothing's happening and maybe there was a separation of some sort doesn't negate the fact that i feel like somebody here is really into you and they're really not into anybody else so at least they're not showing up they feel like they've met their match but is this person going to make any change like what's the deal why are they chasing after virgo why are they chasing after virgo this week what's going on oh wow okay knight of swords the star and the death card holy moly aquarius scorpio energy knight of swords is a lifestyle change yeah they're making some changes here. So what's causing this? Wow. Ace of Cups. So, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of healing. This, this star energy is like renewal, hope. 
something's triggering this with this person. That Ace of Cups is like, I don't know, this person might have like, um, they're having some kind of transformation, healing, change going on, or something triggered them to change their life, for sure. The Ace of Cups is like this gift of a blessing that's come. They've received some kind of like renewal in their life, a second chance at life for some. They've been given that second chance. So, you know, for some, whoever your person is here, they might have been on like death row, so to speak, and they got a pardon. I don't mean that literally, that could just be figuratively, like something in their life happened and, you know, they got some kind of blessing where they were given a, a second chance, you know. Um, they got some kind of a pardon and um, had that awakening of like, okay, I know what I need to do. I've got cards flying everywhere. Okay, there's that seven of wands, that standing, what, standing up for themselves, what they want. Yeah, this person, listen, this person has come to like some kind of... Um, some kind of, I don't want to, like, I almost want to say it's an awakening, but I feel like they were led with that, with that star car, you know, like fireworks, you know, like when you get knocked on the head and you, and you see stars, you get that phosphine stuff happening in your eyes, you like see stars, you know, the, like, I don't know if this person got a concussion and woke up like in a whole new dimension. It's like, whoa, what's going on? Maybe they were tripping or just something happened to them. They had like some kind of something happened to them i can't they can't get they're not giving me specific but it's caused this major lifestyle change yeah i mean good for them good for them that's what i feel like so this week definitely as far as love goes as far as romance as far as like life shifts and stuff with this person i do feel like you're gonna be hearing from them and you know like i said some of you you know, some of you might just be like, you're not answering the phone, you're hanging out. But the majority of you, I kind of feel like you're going to be like, mm. oh, an avocado. You know what I mean? Just kind of like, oh, hey, how's it going? All right, you guys, look, I just want to share something with you. Because it is the week reading going forward, I got a new deck. And we are going to split this reading into career and life. Right, so we're going to look at a couple of other things besides love, but I wanted to just kind of throw some love at you a little bit and see what to expect for love. And hopefully you guys will stick around. We're going to take a look at a little bit of career and see what life, whatever shows up here. And yes, I did get the wellness, Island Time Wellness white cards so that we didn't, so my black cards didn't fade. Okay, I've got guidance. Divine forces are showing you the way to go. You are discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose in life. So this week, um, you're going to get some guidance this week about your path. You're going to get like a little clue. I always like when I say a little clue, I always think of Rosie O'Donnell from Sleepless in Seattle. She's like a little, oh, it's a little clue. You're going to get a little clue about your um your purpose in life, right? So you expect a little clue this week about what you may, you know, the path you need to go. And that's going to require a lot of patience on your part because you might be seeking answers and you're not getting anywhere making a headway. You're going to get a little clue this week that's going to be like a little light bulb moment where it's like, aha, you know, um, about your destiny, where you need to go. So just wait for that. Wait for the answers to come in. Let's see what else you got coming up for you this week. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, you've got progress, nice. It seems like a long slog, but your efforts will pay off soon. Stay on course for at least a few more months before making a change. Okay, so don't quit. I feel like that's a message, progress. Just don't quit. I was like, don't quit before the miracle happens, right? Because usually people quit right before the miracle happens. Always, 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 because they run out of patience. Or perseverance, you know, they get tired, they get sick of doing the, the grind, you know, that's where the magic happens in the daily grind. So it might feel like, oh, I have to do this again, I have to do this again. Your efforts will pay off, just stay the course, whatever it is that you're working on, whatever you're doing, it feels like a little pep talk, if anything, but you know, you'll see the results. 
just wait a few more months. See what else you need to know here for your weekly message. Renewal. You need to take time to recharge your energy to get back on track. Challenges ahead require you to have faith and a breakthrough. So this is so key, you know, taking time to recharge your energy. That means like, I always say the building happens during the recovery. That's when the most growth happens. You know, I mean, you got to go do your workout. You know what I mean? But the rest days are as equally important. And you got to take those rest days. Good nutrition, good sleep. Even on your days when you're recovering, make them like active recovery days, right? Where you go, instead of like pushing it too hard, take those days to just gentle, be gently, gently. Be active, but gently active, you know? That's that's keeping yourself going, but being kind to yourself, right? So that's part of your renewal, right? And some days it just requires taking a nap. Some days you just need that nap, you know? Just take that nap. Um, or some days you just need to sit for 20 minutes. Just sit, if, even if you don't sleep, you know, or, you know, you're at your desk. If you're at a desk all day, go out and take that 15 minute walk if you can get outside you know um, or just get away from your desk and go to another department you know or or go in the break room and just sit in there for 10 minutes and read a book just to, just get yourself in a different environment you know that's part of your renewal whatever it is you know get in a different atmosphere change your scene man <laughs> change the scenery a little bit the mental geographical change as well okay you've got connections here build bridges between people contact those who can help you your actions set you up for the next opportunity you know networking man networking i keep saying man i don't know who i'm channeling here because i never say man very rarely but networking is really important to building your um to making progress and whatever you're building right um diplomacy is key building bridges between people contact those who can help you right so don't kind of spin your wheels if you've got a plan and you're trying to get from point a to point b um you know you don't need to be out in the world spinning your wheels with people that if you have an agenda you need to you know, put some wheels on that agenda and go in the direction of your dreams and people will help you get there. But you need to pick and choose those people who are going to be able to help you. People want, everybody trades. Trade is a high value commodity. And, you know, bartering, getting out there, it's, it's not so much about just putting your resume out there. It's not so much about what you can do, but like, what can you do for me, right? We all... We all offer things to people and we all get things from others. We make those trades and those connections, you know. Building those bridges with people can help get you from point A to point B. It's not so much <laughs> your skills, <laughs> you know. It's not so much your education as it is the people you talk to and the connections you make to get you where you need to go, right? So this week it's all about guidance progress renewal and connections right and i feel like it's really important as far as your life and your career goes well, if you're focusing on that that you um you pay attention to those four key words this week okay and in what areas they can completely help you to get to where you need to go this week okay let me, let me see here. I just want to see if there's any other messages for you. With these. One more, actually. I just want to get one more. <clears throat> this is my first time using this deck, so I hope you guys like it. I think it's all right. Oh, wow. Good. You've got power position. You are being promoted or called to lead. Time to step in your sovereignty and guide others with compassion. This is awesome. So this tells me you're being looked at for a promotion 
or uh, a position to lead in your career um, and to guide others. So for some of you, I don't know who you're being looked at by, but um, some of you are going to be receiving a promotion or, you know, a step up to lead a team or to lead others or to create some kind of a team going forward or you're, well, at least being, you're being called. You may not realize it right now as you're listening. It may be coming later. Um, you may already feel like you're being called to do something, but you don't know what. And I feel like that's what it is. You might already know that you have the ability to lead a team in some area, but you you might not be sure that's what you're being called to do. I kind of feel like maybe meditate on that a little bit and try to see if that's in alignment with what you're feeling. Um, power position requires an awful lot of responsibility. Leading a team, for sure. Um, this could be in a company. This could be in the military. This could be in a government type of a job anything like that you could be creating your own type of a company where you're going to be heading everything up like a ceo or exec type of position anything like that um, power position means you're like front and center so pay attention if you want to do self-employment become self-employed or create your own company you could be called at this time to do that that's a kind of a power position it pretty much is like hands-on you got to do everything <laughs> But you can hire people if you can afford it or you can ask for help, build those connections with people to kind of come in and like give you some guidance here to do that. Okay. So I feel like, I mean, I wish I could tell you, hey, you're going to, you're going to like hit the jackpot lottery <laughs> this week. But I feel like this is more about um, you manifesting this stuff on your own. So again, this is called Career and Life Oracle Deck. Uh, manufacturer is Cosmic Lights. Um, and I found this deck. I think I got it on Amazon. Might have been. So you could just look it up on Amazon. It's definitely not an Etsy. Be careful on Etsy, you guys, because I ordered something on Etsy. I actually ordered, believe it or not, this deck on Etsy. And I got scammed. Yeah, they took my money. Yeah, it was a fake account, so even I get gypped. Um, I should have known because they had zero reviews, <laughs> but I was so eager, and it was the only one they had, and I couldn't find it anywhere, but I was careless and negligent in, in doing my research, but I did find this deck on Amazon, so got it the next day. The other one made me wait a week, so whatever, and this was a lot cheaper, so shit happens those types of scams you can't get your money back because they, they then after they get your money they disappear off off of they just they they delete themselves so they can't be contacted and then they create a new account and then they scam everybody again they take more money and they just keep doing it they recycle themselves and they just keep taking but they're petty thieves they take like 13 bucks petty thieves they just keep recycling i mean i can't even imagine going doing that kind of work it's just such a waste of money but i guess enough people do it it's whatever um let me get a couple of messages of love for you because i really feel like i want to throw some in here for you this is a little bit longer for my weekly reads but all right so you have decision it's time to decide about this relationship and i feel like that was pretty cl uh clear because you do have somebody here who's just not giving up on a relationship or is coming in. It's safe to trust in the situation. Now, that doesn't say it's safe to trust the person, but it's safe to trust the situation and maybe uh, the decision that you need to make. If anything, trust yourself. Okay, let's see. Okay, you've got fate. This is a destined partnership. At least it is for this person. Maybe it is for you too. And forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. All right, you guys, let's get... I'm going to do some Chinese signs. All 
All right, we're starting with the year of the dog, year of the rabbit, year of the rat, year of the ox. This could be you, this could be your person, this could be both of you or neither. Year of the rooster, year of the dragon, year of the tiger, year of the monkey. We got double monkey, one more. Year of the snake, okay? So keep that in the back of your mind. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Let's get a charm, and then I'm going to end the reading. Don't forget, if you want to get a personal reading, I do have November and December discounted for personal readings. You can go ahead, click the link here on my channel, and just book your reading straight away with me. And you can also visit my Moon Pie Tarot channel where I upload weekly or daily readings and get me a coffee if you like to donate to help support my channel or just buy me a coffee it's great you can um, also donate to the children's fund thank you all for all of you donating all right let me see oh okay that's the cutest thing like ever all right you guys so fork you that's all i can say okay you have a fork okay i don't even know what to say it's a three-pronged fork so that's like a serving fork um i think it is a three-pronged fork a salad fork i can't remember my um my etiquette <laughs> a three-pronged fork that's a specific fork so you might find like um you might find like a um a, a, a fork I mean, this is not an uncommon thing, you know. I mean, we all know it's not uncommon to see a fork somewhere, but I don't, let me see if I can really intuit what this means. Oh, they just gave me a name. They just said Eugene or Eugenia. <laughs> Eugene or Eugenia. Okay, that's very odd. And then they just said Edmund, Edmonton, Edmonton, Edmonton. Okay. So, um, or Ed. So, usually the devil has a fork, a pitchfork though, but this devil does not carry a fork. Let me see something. No. I'm not picking up energy by this. Yeah, maybe you find like a, a silver or gold fork somewhere that's worth a lot of money. Um, are you looking for a fork right now? There's some connection to a fork and I don't know what it is. It could just be about feeding yourself or eating well. Or you can't find a fork and, you know, here it is. Too bad you can't have it. You're going to have to eat with your fingers. <laughs> I don't know. It's a three-pronged fork. I'm going to leave it there because I'm not really, I'm just, the only thing I'm really getting is someone's name starting with the letter E. That's really the biggest thing that I'm getting. I'm not getting all that much more from that, which is odd. If anything, if I pick up anything, I'll put it in the chat. If anything else comes to me while we're listening to the chat, but nothing else. And maybe the letters are the number three which is all about communication, new communication coming in too. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there, you guys. I hope that you had a great weekend. And yeah, um, I will see you all back here tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Have a fantastic evening. Thank you for being here. Thank you to the mods for being here as well. And uh, yeah, take care. Bye. Shut